Hello all. I thought I'd make a little video on my uh, switch over to uh, Fedora 18. Obviously, it's the, using the GNOME GNOME shell. Um, so far, it's been really good. Uh, actually, one of my first uh, Linux installs was RPM based. Uh, it was called Mandrake. Uh, it's quite a while back now. Uh, so I am sort of used to it, uh, but it's not too much different difference than using um, sudo apt-get. You just type in yum, for example, install something. Or you can use the software uh, manager. Not as nice as the one in Ubuntu, but it's uh, it's adequate. And what I also did was uh, replaced um, Nautilus with uh, Nemo. Uh, version 1.1.2. And that gives you my functions that I like back to split side panel. So I can uh, drag and drop files. Uh, open terminal here. And uh, just, you know, create a launcher, which I did here uh, for startup applications. And uh, that's pretty much um, what I do. What I use uh, the file manager for. It's just, you know, it's just a, something, you know, create a new document. <laughs> uh, the only thing is, uh, I don't see, yeah, right now, unless there's another extension to compress something, right click. But uh, other than that, I've gotten pretty much all the applications I had in Ubuntu installed. Um, I'll just go through a quick list here. There's uh, Arista, there's Audacity, AVI DMUX 2.6, by the way, um, which has been hard to get unless you compile it yourself. And the usual stuff that comes with GNOME video, uh, Totem video player, Kazam, Google. And I use this too. This is called Fedora Utils. And you have to type in your password. And it's a neat little uh, add-on. Uh, you can put a little check inside the circle here, Essentials and Tweaks task, and you say Select. Let's give it a second. And you can enable, disable uh, different things. Wish I had seen this before, install ATI Video Driver, uh, because that was a little bit of fun. But it wasn't, it wasn't as painful. Or as less painful, painful as it would be in Ubuntu. Um, so back, install additional software, and that's where I got Google Chrome from. Uh, and I can install the Cinnamon Desktop, which is more like traditional um, Windows XP-ish Start 95 Start Menu. Well, maybe not that far back, but you know, traditional Start Menu without all the fancy effects and stuff. Um, Repositories, you can add in repositories. Uh, plugins, I'm not sure what. To... Oh, yeah. Repair the RPM database and stuff. And you press close and it quits. So that's a neat little way of installing extra things that are, may not be in the uh, repositories, the RPMs. And uh, I got it working pretty good. It's. Uh, you know, it's a little heavy, of course, but I have enough um, memory. I have 12 gigs of RAM. Um, the major thing I ran into uh, was when I went to install this on uh, a different hard drive, that's uh, seen as SDC, um, it didn't show up one of the hard drives. So there's one, two, three, four and this one so five but it was only showing four of them and it wasn't showing the the backup partition on um, hard drive i had and i had to go through and make sure the serial number was the same <laughs> before because i didn't want to delete what was on backup uh other than that it was fairly quick install uh i forget what the nick called it now um anaconda installer Needs a bit of work, 
How how about that? I think, but it was okay, you know. Um, just the usual stuff uh, as well. I got a couple extensions for weather. Pretty cold out. Um, this shows the uh, bandwidth, and I think that's about it. Just some other, yeah. To uh, say, for example, I open the file browser. I do this. You can click here and it shows the desktop. You can go back here. But it's just, you know, you can take, like, say, Firefox and drag it into here. And it'll open up and... Whoops. There it goes. And then you go here and you can scroll between the two. Or you can use the Control-Alt-Key up-down combination. But if you've used GNOME Shell before, you already know this. What I like, though, so far is the stability of Fedora so far. Okay? It seems to be pretty damn good. Um, like, I have a few bug alerts and a few crashes, but it's not as... Uh, doesn't break down as much, I found. I found the last uh, Ubuntu 10.10 .10 really, really crashed a lot. And the startup... Eh, about the same. Uh, one day I'll get another solid state drive and install uh, something on a Linux distro on this. But I really like this so far, and I know it's just you know recently been released, so I'm looking forward to some updates. And of course, you have the Snap Windows, if you wish. And I think that's pretty much all I could say. There isn't anything. I think Firefox is the 18, and I know the 18. Dot oh one or dot one, I can't remember is out, but that's no big deal. And I st stuck with the default theme so far, except for the icons. Um, uh, it's, th it's hard to pronounce. Fiance icons, A R U. Um, and that those are easy to install. I just opened the GNOME tweak tool, uh, pointed to the directory I extracted it to, which is icons dot icons in the home folder, and Boom. So there isn't that much difference, like cosmetically, in the way you would work in a GNOME shell environment if you had a bun to. But there is differences under the hood, of course, which I don't know a lot of yet. But I like this so far. I think it's uh, really nice. Really, like, I like the stability and the, the speed of everything. So just a quick look through. I guess not really a, re a review, of course. Uh, looks through through um, Fedora 18, 64-bit, GNOME edition. Okay, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.